Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you are having an amazing day. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mohammed and I'm a fifth year medical student studying in London. And I'm really, really, really glad that you are here today. So today, shall we just going to have a chat about really, why do we forget stuff really quickly? For example, say you're studying for an exam, you have like a chemistry test or a, or a biology exam. All of the information that you're trying to consume, why, is it, why does it keep evaporating from your brain, which causes us to be really frustrated? Did a similar thing ever happen to you before? I know it did happen to me. It's really frustrating. And inshallah, also I'm going to offer you some advice which will help you deal with this and so you can ace your exams, inshallah. I just want to tell you a little story, okay, that I just made up. So imagine there are two students who are in year 11 who are studying for their final biology exam okay in june let's call these two students fahed and khalid so fahed decided to study for the biology exam for about three months before while khalid decided to just wing it and study about two weeks before you know because he's just too confident so you can guess who's more likely to achieve a higher grade however who is definitely going to forget the information that he learned much quicker over the course of the summer. You guessed it, it's Khaled. Why, really, why? So the reason why is I want you to take a look at this curve right here. So this curve is known as the forgetting curve. What is the forgetting curve? The forgetting curve is basically, the, the forgetting curve basically tells us that when we approach something, when we approach a subject, we're studying it for the first time, okay? When we study it, our retention falls so fast after learning it for the first time. So what happens again? So what happens now when we revisit it for the second time? We will lose much less of our retention. Okay, so we will forget a smaller amount of the things of the material that we are studying. And when we revisit it the third time after a few days, again, we forget much less stuff and we're able to retain a lot more of the information that we are consuming and so on. So really, why is this the case? So every time we revisit the material multiple times, over and over and over again, the information that we are consuming, that we're learning, we're trying to make sense of, starts to get stored in our long-term memory. So that when someone asks us a question, we're able to recall it in second nature. Really, we don't need to think about the question. We're able to, boom, recall that information instantly. So this happens when we revisit the information over and over and over again. And this process is known as space repetition. So really, why am I telling you this? The reason why I'm telling you this is that when you understand how the curve works, how the forgetting curve works, you will start to understand how you can utilize it to your advantage when it comes to learning anything that you want and especially things that you want to learn and retain over the course of a long, over a long period of time. For example, like, like me in medicine, there's so much to learn, subhanAllah, about physiology, how the body works normally and all different kinds of conditions, the pathological conditions of what could go wrong and how to diagnose these problems and issues and how we can treat them. So all of these things, and we can't learn these things instantly. We need a long period of time so that we're able to conceive all of that knowledge and able to recall it instantly, okay? Otherwise, if we don't do that, we're just gonna end up forgetting them. And you know what's the bonus if you're, like, if you're a medical student like me? If you keep, if, you, if you're consistent with revisiting the material, doing the space repetition over and over and over again, when, you're, when you are in your clinical years, you get to go and visit different hospitals so you can have some clinical experience with patients where you get, hist where you get to take some histories, do some examinations, and also you get exposed to some teaching by the consultants. And in the morning, there's the usual word round and uh, we can shout at the doctors over there. And usually, most of the time, these consultants will ask questions to medical students. And sometimes these questions can get really difficult. The consultant asks you a question, okay? You don't want to be the person who doesn't know the answer. It will be amazing if you're able to answer the question that the consultant asks you correctly. And it's an amazing feeling. 
a really amazing and rewarding feeling where you just start thinking between you, you and yourself that all of that effort, all of the time that I have invested in myself has been paid off. So yeah, I mean, that's the power of space repetition. Uh, really high, I highly, highly recommend you to uh, try it. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, that's it from me. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a YouTube video. Inshallah, we'll be more consistent. And uh, I really hope that you found this video uh, enjoyable. You learned a thing or two from it. And I'll see you next time, inshallah. Bye-bye.